What's good? What's good, y'all? It's Young Reno, the Rookie Chef, and I'm back with another one, y'all. We're going to be doing something fun, all right? Today, we are going to be doing a sausage vegetable spaghetti salad. That's right. Sausage vegetable spaghetti salad, y'all. Something that I want to try. So without further delay, let's go, let's go, let's go! So the ingredients are what we're going to be using in this uh, sausage vegetable spaghetti salad. <laughs> it's something new, y'all. Something to do. Here are the ingredients. Take a look. So we got a bell pepper that I had left over. We got a cucumber, y'all. Now remember, we, this is all that goes in the regular salad. We got a cucumber. Uh, we got some cherry tomatoes. You know, we got a jalapeno. We got some carrots. We even got some fresh spinach, y'all. Some fresh spinach. We got that angel hair pasta over there. We got some olive oil. We got that ground red pepper over there. We got that no salt, no, that salt-free seasoning right there. We got some black pepper grounds. We got some Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. That's the spicy one. I like that spicy one right there, y'all. And we got some Texas Toast Garlic and Butter Flavored Croutons. And we're going to be using this chicken, chicken sausage right here. For our sausage. This is that chicken and parsley sausage, okay? So there y'all have it. Everything that goes in the salad, but we making it with a twist with spaghetti. And we're gonna be stirring frying all these lightly just so they can keep the crunch, okay? I know it sounds interesting. I'm the rookie chef. That's why. So without further delay, let's play. Okay, so first what we wanna start doing is getting our salad toppings ready, right? What we would put on top of our salad. We got a cucumber right here. So with the cucumber, I'm just gonna simply, I'm gonna simply cut them thin and round, just like that for our cucumber, okay? Let's get it going. I like that. We're gonna have them just like that. Nice and round like that, okay? That's how we're gonna do that, all right? Next, I'm gonna go with the jalapeno. For the jalapeno, I'm gonna do what I always do. Round, just like that. Let's keep it moving. There we go. Jalapenos, just like that, all right? The good thing is, we don't have to cut the tomatoes because they're gonna be the little cherry tomatoes. You see a little smaller? And this is all going in. That's just the amount I needed. And that's what I bought, okay? Just like that. Let's keep it moving. We're going in with the uh, bell pepper. I had a little bit of bell pepper left over. And I do eat bell pepper, uh, salad, bell pepper in my salad, y'all, you know? So with the bell pepper, I'm just basically gonna leave them like that, okay? All right, let's keep it moving. Just like that with the bell pepper. See it over there? Just like that. Ain't nothing like having fresh cut vegetables for a salad, right? All right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, take this spinach. I'm about to wash the spinach. We're going to go ahead and cut a little bit a little bit of this up too, okay? Let's keep it moving. Take about this much and go rinse them real quick. Let's keep it moving. And once I do that, I'm going to take them and I'm just going to gently pat them a little bit with the water. Object is I want to keep them a little crunchy. You know, they're going to soften up when they get into the to the stir fry, but that's okay. All right, let's keep it moving. So back over here, I'm just going to take the spinach. I'm going to go ahead and cut it at the root there, and I'm just going to cut it in half, just like that. I'm going to leave them that big. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go. Just like that. That's just how we're going to leave it. That's the spinach, y'all. That's everything right there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take some of the carrots out and pour these out and put this on the on this, uh, cutting board too, so we'll be all good to go. Now, just think, if you wasn't using the chicken sausage, you would definitely have a vegetarian spaghetti yumminess here. You would definitely have uh, going green for real. You know what I mean? So that's something to think about for y'all who don't really mess with the meat. You can just do this without the chicken and bam, you got a power meal. Let's go. Some carrots out the pack. You definitely want to put them in a strainer and go rinse them up real good. Okay, let's go. On some of the carrots, when they big like this, I'm definitely going to go ahead and Go ahead and uh, uh, cut them in half, you know, like that. Make them a little smaller, okay? Let me go ahead and get that done, and we're going to keep it moving. I wanted the ones that was finely shredded, but they didn't have it, so I had to go with these guys. But this is what I did, y'all. I just cut them up just like that. going to be easy to stir fry, and they'll soften up a little bit. and uh, But at the same time, hold this crunch, because there ain't nothing like old carrots holding the crunch. That's that healthy, yummy goodness. Let's go. For our tomatoes, even though it's in this pack sealed, I'm still going to wrench them off. Let's go. There we have it, folks. Y'all see that? My YouTube chef family, look at that. 
There you go. There go the tomatoes in there. Everything is all complete. Now, if you were just making a regular home salad, you know, regular plain salad, you already hooked up. You just need your lettuce and you're good to go. This is a whole salad right here. All the toppings, all right? Okay, good. Got that done. Now, let's go ahead and cut this uh, sausage down. Also, our chicken sausage with the parsley already inside, basically. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do it... Um, I'm gonna make them kind of, kind of thin, you know. I don't like that, okay? All right, let me get them all cut up and we're gonna keep it moving. So y'all made a mistake. This isn't the one with the chicken and the parsley. This is the one, this is actually the chicken apple. I had to cup it cut it open and smell and see the apple pieces in there. Even better because fruits go in salad too, right? So this is gonna actually work out. So there y'all go, we got that already, okay? All right, we getting there, let's keep it moving. Y'all, so here we are on our skillet. I just turned this on, we're gonna warm this up. We're gonna go ahead and get our uh, classic olive oil in here. Okay. This is a brand new bottle, y'all. So we'll go ahead and pop that little seal right there. There we go. Just like that. I'd say that's probably a couple tablespoons. That's all you need. Let's let that heat up. We're gonna keep it moving. Pot over here that you see on this side. I'm heating that up, getting that, bringing that to a boil for our spaghetti right there, okay? Let's go. All right, so once we got that grease heated up, we're gonna go ahead and start by putting our apple chicken sausage in here right now, okay? Just like that. We'll get them to going, okay? Let's get them started, we're gonna keep it moving. Remember, the object is I am not going to keep those vegetables uh, stir frying too long. We're gonna be more like saute them because I want them to keep their firmness and their crunch, let's go. I know this chicken sausage is actually going to make its own little juices too. That's going to help out. Keep it moving. You just want to keep doing this. Keep doing this. Let them caramel, caramel, you know, caramelize and stuff like that. Because you got that good, good apple in here and all that good stuff. So just keep doing that. It's making a nice little coating down there. So we'll get ready to put our vegetables in there. It's going to be all good. Keep it moving. Over in our other pot over here, that water is starting to boil. As you can see, I'm going to take me some sea salt. I'm going to give it two turns. One, two. That's a couple of pinches, okay, for our spaghetti. This spaghetti salad is uh, is gonna be known to be a hot salad, just like you have grilled chicken salad, you know? So that's how we work in this, let's go. Now I'm gonna take our spaghetti, I'm gonna break them in half, and you can see me on, that, on the other side over there. Break them inside, lay them on in there just like that. That's, I think that's all we need, it's only me, and you know, and uh, let's keep it moving. I turned down my sausage. I put my spaghetti in this spot here. And you know, you just wanna, you know, while it's boiling, when you first put them in there, just start moving them around a little so none of the pasta starts sticking at the bottom. You wanna keep it loose, keep it moving. Go back over here at the skillet. Yeah, remember all this yummy goodness right here? Go ahead, start putting it on there. Don't matter what order, they all going in. We ain't waiting for nobody. We ain't waiting for nobody, all right? We're gonna get in here, start stir frying this, sauteing it, I should say, and let everything be on the same page. Let's keep it moving. Get all that in there. Ooh, it smells so good, y'all. I kid you not. You wanna go ahead and start sauteing your salad toppings, okay, with everything. We'll come back and let y'all get a look at that. Y'all see how it's not losing its texture? Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that looking good? That is a salad right there, y'all. That's looking good, ain't that looking good? We just gonna just saute it a little bit more longer and then I'm gonna stop. We're gonna let that rest until our spaghetti get done. Cause like I said, this gonna be a good yummy salad and it's gonna keep all this little, some of it's gonna keep its crunchiness and its freshness. We don't wanna soggy out nothing, okay? Keep it moving. Make sure you got it on medium. Get it on medium and let it just do its thing on medium, okay? That way it won't burn too fast. You won't mess up your dish. Let's go. They're selling them now. They've been, I've been letting them set on medium like this for about uh, three to five minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding my seasoning. Okay, we got our ground red pepper, as y'all remember. About a teaspoon. We got our no salt dash seasoning. Se <clears throat> seasoning right there, boom. Same thing, all right. Then we got our black pepper. Okay, everything about a teaspoon. All right, let's keep it moving. In total, I let this saute for about seven minutes, and that's all I'm gonna do. It's pretty much done. I'm leaving it just like that, it's pretty much done. Spaghetti is pretty much done, okay? So, 
We about to have some fun, y'all. It's coming out perfect. Let's keep it moving. Okay, got our spaghetti done right here. So what I'm gonna simply start doing, I got this on low. What I'm gonna simply start doing is taking this out, just like this, nice and hot. While it's nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead, put it in our salad, okay? Just like that. Okay, let me go ahead and start working on that. Let's keep it moving. Now we are simply tossing the, tossing the salad, y'all. Exactly what we're doing. Simply tossing the salad, okay? Oh. All right, let me get that going some more and I'll let y'all see it next, hold on. All right, y'all, our vegetable salad is done. Take a look at that, y'all. Take a look at that yummy goodness. And I wanna stop right there while everything is still kinda crunchy and firm, okay? Boom. Y'all know what's up. Next, the plate. Because don't forget, we got that uh, our salad dressing, we got our croutons. Let's get to the plating, let's go. Put the croutons around them. Now I'm about to take my spicy ranch. I'm about to go ahead and just... Just like that. All right, the plating. Y'all ready to see this yummy goodness? We did it again. Introducing, we, we did it again. Introducing, man, the sausage, vegetable, spaghetti, salad. Take a look. There it is, y'all. There it is, my YouTube chef family. Look at that there. Look at that yummy goodness right there. We put the, I just topped it off with the salad dressing. You're welcome to use whatever salad dressing you want because this is your salad. Look at that, y'all. Sausage and vegetable spaghetti salad is what we made, y'all. That's what we made. Look at that yummy goodness. You can see the cucumbers. You can see the tomatoes. You can see the carrots. You can see the spinach. You see the croutons there. You can see the bell peppers. Everything a salad has, this has. There y'all go. Y'all see that? Sausage, vegetable, spaghetti salad, the Rookie Chef way. Got those tomatoes in there, everything. That's gonna be a yummy salad, y'all. Yummy to your tummy, that yummy, ummy goodness. Yummy tummy, never funny goodness. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all see it, y'all see it. A spaghetti salad, y'all, the Rookie Chef way. Rookie Chef Way. The taste test. Take another look, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get busy. Let's go. Taking one with a cucumber. A little bit of that ranch on there. Let's go. Put the sausage in there. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My God. My God. Let me get a little bit of that tomato in there too. Mm. Oh my goodness. Get the carrot, bell pepper. Mm. 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 <clears throat> that spicy ranch hitting it off too. Mm. 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 Jalapeno, everything is good. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Go ahead and give one with the croissant. I'm going to take the right there. You see it? Mm. 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 Oh my God. I'm left by Texas toast too. Just like having. Regular spaghetti with the toe. 
this is this is fire. What goes good with it? You better know it. Wow. Spaghetti set salad for the rookie chef way at its finest. It's time to dim the lights and say our goodbyes. I got to do this in. Let's go. Right, this is where we dim the lights and say our goodbyes. My, my, I don't know what to tell y'all. That is good. That is good. I'm very impressed, man. Y'all got to try that. Somebody got to try this, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Let me give you a recap. There it is there, y'all. Sausage, vegetable, spaghetti salad. We made everything that goes on the salad. Well, the basic things that go on the salad. You know, there's other stuff that go on the salad. But we did the basic, the tomato, cherry tomatoes, the cucumber, you know, the spinach. Got the bell peppers in there. Got that chicken apple sausage in there. That's where the fruit come in at with the, with the chicken. Got our carrots. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm telling you. This is fire. And that ranch, that spicy ranch dressing that I put on there for my choice of, of uh, salad dressing, fire. Fire, 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 fire. With a cold one. There it is, y'all. There it is. All right, y'all. I want to say thank you for joining me on another episode of The Rookie Chef. <laughs> I'm about to go take this down. I'm seriously. I can't wait. I can't wait to get a, get off, get off this video. Chow down, baby. All right, y'all. Until next time, I am Young Reno, the Rookie Chef. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's feeling fine. We're coming up, y'all, getting ready for my little celebration I'm going to do with y'all. We're going to have a nice little sit down and a nice little chat, you know, and I can thank everyone for playing a part in helping me reach that thousand. We're starting to go a little over now. I'm very happy. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all again. And uh, we'll have our highlighting our three chefs coming up as well. All right. So y'all take it easy. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Until next time, God bless.